What's up guys, I'm out here in the backyard today. Didn't have any time to make it to the woods, but I did have a little bit of time and I want to introduce you guys to something you might have seen. Cats out of the bag, and I am talking about none other than Elevate's brand new camera arm, the Capture Camera Arm, they just released a few days ago. If you haven't seen this thing at a trade show, or I think it was at a couple of the Mobile Hunter Expo shows this year, both in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, uh, the prototypes were there. Uh, Josh, Brittany, and Jared were kind of showing them, uh, but not too much, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's a lot of people out there in the industry that like to steal ideas, and this is a really good one because it's something new. It's something that holds uh, a bigger camera, a bigger DSLR setup. A lot of guys complain about some of the smaller arms not being able to handle the cameras and all that bounce. This one handles it. So I'm really excited to run this this year. I've had it in the tree just a handful of times. I can tell it's going to be... Uh, something special and I just want to go over a couple things about it today with you guys and uh, show you how it works. The first thing you're going to notice is this thing has an incredible bite. Really, really sharp teeth here on the tree bracket. This thing actually cut me um, the other day. I don't know if you guys can pick up on that or not, but it cut my elbow. Uh, it's razor sharp, so it really, really grabs a tree. Uh, it's going to come with a few different options on how you attach it. Mine has the attachment. You can see these two little knobs right here. And right here, I use just a cam buckle strap. Um, you can use a couple different other kinds of straps, but uh, it also comes with an option of a cam cleat like you would use for one sticking. So you would actually have a cam cleat on the inside of here and just run your thing around the tree, pull it tight, and cinch it down, of course, with the, the screw right here. What sets this camera arm apart from the others is the way that it folds up super compact and the way that it inverts itself. You can see my 190 uh, Ulanzi uh, mini head here, fluid head, is actually upside down, but the tree bracket and everything is right side up. That's because this thing is going to fold this way. All right, and once you hit this angle right here, you can turn it, and then it comes down. Now, some changes that are being made is I believe this bracket right here is going to be just a touch different. It's actually going to have a pin that locks in because they were. They was a little concerned about the, maybe this right here rubbing off and not locking in as tight as it should be. So I wouldn't think they went ahead and changed that after they shipped me this. Uh, but the arm itself comes in at like one point or one pound, 12 ounces, which isn't heavy at all. It holds, I think Josh said uh, up to like eight pounds worth of camera and lens. So that's super heavy duty. You, you guys know if you want to run that big of a camera, you're looking at like a super high end fourth arrow you're looking at a uh, muddy outfitter, something of that nature that's not going to let that camera bounce. This one does not do that. And it's one of the only ones I know that's this compact and machine and looks great. It's beautiful. Mine comes in the bottom line camo. Uh, you guys are going to get a couple different options to purchase these camo and, and uh, color wise. Another really cool thing about it is I'm going to scoot up here close. So forgive me if my camera screws up. Um, the tree bracket you can see right here. I can pull this pin out okay and you can loosen this and it will slide back and forth and you guys can see the different holes whatnot so you can actually adjust this to the tree that you're on that's another thing that sets this apart from the other um, camera arms is that I don't think there's anything out there with an option like this so you get it where you want it slide that pin back in it's nice and quiet if you do it very carefully love this camera arm so far I don't have a tree to put it on so I'm gonna put it on this really slick uh, 4x4 post over here beside the picket and show you guys what it looks like with the camera on the actual arm itself So I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro now. Like I said guys, forgive me. I'm out here in the backyard The house is a wreck. I've got no good trees on my property to do this on so we are literally on a 4x4 post But as you can see I've got the cam buckle wrapped around and connected on both of these right here I've got it at an angle and what I'll actually do is I'll push down with my arm and spin this until it's leveled out it doesn't come with a level bubble on it but if you have any eye whatsoever you'll be able to depict whether it's looking pretty good or not plus you play with it and get it perfect um, I've also got it on the side of the post facing with the fence just because of this would be behind there if it was straight out but as you can tell it's got a pretty dang good bite I'm shaking the, in, the entire fence trying to do it but this is how you actually get this to, to fold out up close you can see like so and then like I said this is going to be a little different but it pops right in there 
and you got your pivots right here I know it's probably slightly aggravating to some people that this is not on an actual uh, tree but you get the idea of it I can only pivot so far this way before I'm peeping on the neighbors over here uh, but this is my Sony ZV E10 it's a 4k camera it's nothing huge you can see my hand pretty much swallows it um, this is a workhorse of a camera it does pretty good it doesn't weigh a lot so this thing is way overkill for this camera but uh, better than underkill so to speak uh, but you can see I'll turn this on so you guys kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at here this is a 50 millimeter lens nice and smooth another thing it's like this in my opinion you take a thousand dollar rifle you put a $200 scope on it, you have a $200 rifle. Now you take a $200 rifle and you put a $1,000 scope on it, it's a $1,000 gun. Same thing with the fluid heads. Um, you got to get a good smooth fluid head. This Yulonzi, uh 190 Mini has been really good. It's compact and it does everything I needed to do. Got all the nice little adjustments and it is so freaking smooth. And you can see it just looks buttery smooth moving around on here. I can't zoom with this lens because it is a prime lens, but you get the idea of it. It's got about 90 degree worth of angle to turn here. This one, of course, pivots as far this way or that way as you want. That's the only thing that I wish it did have more of was a little bit more of a pivot here for saddle hunters, which it's fine. But if they took out any more, it would probably reduce the integrity of how strong this arm is. So that's what they went with it does plenty good for me i'm always hunting on a basketball size tree or smaller when it comes to saddle hunting uh i do hunt with one of their stands as well quite often and this is going to be perfect for stand hunters it's going to be even it's going to be just as good for saddle hunters and i'm not positive on the price point i think josh and me discussed something along the lines of around 165 to 185 I think that depends on your color and finish of the arm that you choose. Uh, and of course the option, like I said, whether you've got these two right here to use a cam buckle or you want the um, cam cleat in the middle. But as you guys can see, this is a slick camera arm. I'm a huge fan already. Can't wait to use it the rest of the season. It's gonna give me that mobile style arm that's not too big, but not too small uh, without having to worry about my camera bouncing all over the place when I've got a 100 inch deer coming in and I'm losing my mind from excitement but if you guys are interested in these head over to elevates uh both facebook and instagram they've got a youtube You'll probably learn a little bit more about this camera arm with a couple videos that they've released now uh check them out give them a like and a follow josh Brittany, and jared are some of the most genuine people i actually they are the most genuine people i've ever met in the industry really great christ-filled humans and they would do anything for anybody in the world uh i really really like those guys so um, when they come up with something like this, not only is it cool and you're, you're trying to help some friends out, but um, <laughs> it's just really cool to see them bring something like this to the market that was much needed. So like I said, check them out. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, going to be a ton of deer hunts dropping this fall, I hope. Uh, I've got over 100 videos on there now, uh, so that would be super appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching.